Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new episode of Gupta, which, yes, Raja Ganesha is still here. Even though he is currently the Acha of the Shavaka Sangha. Which he will be getting a lot more devotion now that he's an Acha, which he has high learning. People who are same religion, all the Jains revere him now, while Hindus and Buddhists respect him. But now, we have chosen a new heir, and it's a Ranindra Narayan. He's shrewd-minded, just gregarious, a little cynical, but depressed because we were grooming him as heir and all that. He's a trained fighter and a trained diplomat, which originally that was going to make him chancellor until I realized, hey, you know that Pala next door neighbor of yours? At how he became Gongshi and got a much better education, in addition to being a polymath. It could be improved upon. And so we sent him over there. But there is a possibility that I may drop dead and then he's going to have to return without his education being finished. I ought to wake him up. Like nothing of it. Should build all these military buildings since Sasram is one of the few areas that will not be inherited by these multiple heirs. You got it. Charity. We got another strong basilisk. Who is an iconoclast? Formerly an imperial bureaucrat, despite imperial decay. Can't do that. I wish to become a better Jain. Led me to the Anuvrata. Abstaining from my bodily desires has allowed me to connect with people on a much deeper level. I also feel that my mind find that my mind is clearer and more peaceful than it has ever been before. I'll double my efforts from now on. The Jason is dim. All of my children all inherited the dim trait. But, oh well. That's just how it is. Not everybody's perfect. Including him. Which, of course, during his stay over there, He's going to have a higher education. While we will continue to spend the money to improve the levy size of, of the realm. Spy on Apollo. Why not? Oh, my daughter still wants to kill me. Eric's coming up. Oh dear. Is it time for me to go? I thought you were wise. Must have botched it. Again, it's just fatigue. Oh, banquet, all right. Try again. Several hours pass, and Padak seemed to enjoy himself. He would enjoy himself even more if we managed to find some company for night. Just enjoying what it is. I'm chased. There you go. Much better. Sleep sitting upright, not sleep upside down. That's how you get over your fatigue. Crazy person. 
I hope he had fun. Thank you very much. Sense of fatigue has been present, ladies, now seen disappeared. See? Sitting upright is better than sitting, sleeping upside down. You know, we don't have a hospital, so we better invest in that. Ignorance conquered. I'll never press claims against everybody. I want to see up a bit. Oh, stable's up too. No more negative modifiers of this area. Cortier of mine has been complaining about some sort of pain in their ear recently. Nothing else came out of ordinary, however. I think they're making a big deal about nothing. Buzzing noises. For three years. That reduces my health a little. He's picked up a philosophy of theirs. The Chan School philosophy. And I hope his education will be finished before the Jason grows up. And when he turns 16 is the Jason, then I will retire to become a Muni. I better take that. Even though they'll be saying things to me, it's like, hey, that's too many, but... You know, in March, uh, everybody respects me now, so... Might as... Ah, dang it. Well, elephants it is. And that's the last thing that you'll be spending. You may never know that they'll ask me to build a temple. Which will do that right... Not here. <laughs> right not here. <laughs> somewhere. During this evening's council meeting, the cartographer told us a rumor they encountered. Peasants speak of an artifact hidden not far away from here. The specifics of his information are uncertain. Perhaps could be worth investigating. Rumors of an artifact, huh? Go ahead, you got the skills. He's called a bureaucrat, you know. We have yet to get a great philosopher out of this. My cartographer sought me out his concerns regarding his search for the relic. Fu Shu has asked me to issue a decree allowing his treasure hunters to appropriate resources and amend aid from the local burgers. You shall have your decree. I doubt I'll live that long to know what kind of artifact is that that we're going to get from here. Many years of my life have been spent dedicated to Slovaka Sangha, performing missions and tasks in the interests of the Order and its Archaya. Today all that effort has been rewarded, as I have become the new Archaya. My fellows now look to me for leadership and guidance, and the leadership and guidance I shall provide. There you have it. A champion. Despite the fact the population is Hindus, it would be more appropriate if um, the monastery here in Radrapa would be Jain. So I'm going to give this to you just for this once. 
If there's going to be a peasant revolt, we'll be dealing with it. Spoke too soon. If you can't handle this, we can. Just need a handful. Jason Gupta. Tall, fair, but dim witted. Mm hmm. Switch crown focus back here. Get down here and get there fast. I hope you get killed. Never thought I would wish death on anyone for once. Now we're made at the post. Been a while. You know. As good a income is, but you know, all this is going to be inherited by many different sons, so. What also want castle walls? But the castle walls is gonna be it. Plus it makes you unlock these structures. Which will do a lot of good here in Mugget. Start collecting more taxes. Walls are easy to build, no need for time. For the last time, you know, over the past weeks, a large contingent of migrants have been arriving from Kinsinagara from a neighbor province. They decided to settle in my domain, and this will bring a host of issues in the province. Let's see what the future brings. Small migrant population, I guess it came from over there. Yeah, I think they split up. What's the policy? Now that I have the migrants in my domain, it's time to select the policy to follow regarding their settlements. I would follow the policy of integration. To be a true Jayan, uh, what to do for people who migrate to your land? To integrate them. This will lead to a faster assimilation, but will cause friction between the current population and new migrants while... The Rifts last, as the use of force will be severely limited from the start. This will test my diplomacy to influence the final speed of the assimilation. Well, very well mannered. Let me see, what traits do you have exactly? One, two, three. There's room for a virtue that I could make it teach me. <laughs> my son writes to me from China with bad news. Apparently he gifted a clock to a professor and then he got deeply offended. Rajan Janarian now asks for funds to help smoothen relations. Small price for education. Too bad I can't send you to the Chinese Academy because your learning skill is near non-existent. Now that I think about it. The wise man, yes. 
I mean, somebody's got to be tutored. And I have four years left till I retire from the world. Now, as for you, looks like you're going to intrigue as well. You sly dog, you. Now, anyways. So. Oh. Bad for business this time. I mean, he's not going to get the shrewd trait. He's not going to get any smarter, but... To me, he's the chosen one. Hence the reason why he's gone over there to get a higher education. And he's continuing his search. Now I remember. I remember now. You haven't been tutored yet, have you? Because I've uh, made him the philosophical tutor. And guard your stuff. And I'm putting you there because you know how to run love. You got all the skills. It's raining heavily today. I sit by the window. Glazing outside. Love the rain, it's so healing. Look at how many army levies here for Bahar. But so what happens when you have a high martial skilled ruler around here? He hasn't picked up any more traits yet, but he has a rival currently in hiding. Not really, but he's possessed, so well. You've, uh, you've interacted with the wrong man. Again, tall and handsome like me, but dim with it. Marnage, during my stay in Mugud, of course you live here, I have found a great philosopher who has agreed to help me with my studies to enhance culture in the region. With your permission, I would suggest that we employ him. Of course. Anything to do with culture. Because <laughs> I'm looking to get tolerance up. But it's kind of far away from me. One of my close servants seems rather solid lately, so I asked him if anything was wrong. He told me that it was sent by my cook to buy a pig. He bought what he thought was a healthy piglet in a bag for a really low price. But it turned out that the bag contained not a piglet, but a cat. Tell me who did it. I'll find him and punish him. Switch my focus to carousing, because when my son returns, I'm gonna need him to. Um, the good Norseman just passed away. One of the real good guys. I should mark that as one decision. Or claim what I tell you. Oh dear. Field sergeant. Rapidly amputate lives, save the lives of gravely wounded soldiers, despite the fact that he's one-handed himself. Left-handed, in fact. 
Okay. You'll have to do. It's just when my son returns from China, he's gonna, you know, he has that depressed trait still. And I would have to invite him in a private feast in order to, um, help him to get rid of depressed so he can live a healthy life. Here's the most fun building. Training grounds for faster levy reinforcement rate as well as up the morale of armies that come from there. Get Mugget immediately! Now that title's forever mine. Even though they'll be saying, hey, that's too many is it really true? Kashi, Terabukti, Magad. It doesn't say to me. I've been toying with the idea of using the great training capabilities of the migrants to create a military group to enforce security in the province. Placing the general population under the supervision of migrants could have good results in the near term regarding province stability. Well, Katsunagar is always a rebellious place, so we'll do it. Do what you gotta do, even if they feel discontent. <laughs> because we're putting our migrants in charge of security. Suggest a non aggression pact with them. Alrighty. This agreement can lead to a better understanding between our peoples. I will put effort to opening our borders to visitors of your realm. Thank you very much. How you doing, son? Still studying. You'll have to return soon one day. As the Jason has become patient. I just hope that Rajendra Narayan doesn't do anything stupid. My son writes to me of having learned the honored art of calligraphy. This is a fine skill. Calligraphy. Diplomacy and learning up. Oh, okay. My son returns from the Gozijian with the result of their imperial examination. He's been classified as the Juran of having passed the provincial exam. Yeah, he graduated from Gozijian and passed the imperial examination at the provincial level. Plus one in everything. See, that makes it up for, you know, having that dim trait. Well done, Narajuran. Yeah. Welcome home. Now. Let's uh, have a private feast. Get rid of your depression. See, you are well qualified now. Now that you got a bit of a Chinese education. And you've learned uh, a philosophy of theirs. Hope it works out for you. Ah, come on. Come on, Rajkumar. Oh, fine. I'll bring him over here. No, oh, yeah, there's some. But I'm going to put you to work. We should improve relations with, um... Oh, by the way. Wasn't there a, a holy war between the two? Oh yeah, I think that demon worshipper is gone. He was sawed in half. I'm gonna send you to improve diplomatic relations with Toshali. There were good friends of ours once. 
this would help to improve your um, diplomat skills. It done that to me one time. Ah, Paria came to me suggested I should make a spiritual retreat with the Mazoban of Mingui. Oh, it's Tokarian territory where there are Jans over there too. A spiritual retreat sounds good. I don't know how much I can live, how much longer I can live. So, it's a, in less than three years' time, I will retire from the world. Even though I would have a lot of artifacts to give away. Except for the broken weapons. Success. Alright. Become close friends now. Despite the fact that he's suffering from pneumonia. Keep up the good work. I'll have that notification on, so that way um, I'll let you know how much you improve on it. I wander a field of blurry yet vivid colors. I cannot tell what is above and what is below, what is left and what is right. I'm simultaneously floating driftlessly and walking aimlessly. Am I in a primordial churning ocean or a primordial endless skies? Somewhere deep within myself, I cannot articulate it. Though I know that this is an era of this is the era of dreams, when people cannot distinguish between conscience and subconscience. When we walk the dreamscape of the universe under the benevolent watch of the Tirthankaras, all twenty-four of them, you know. I know, not the beginning, nor the end. Eons pass before I slowly regain consciousness. I find myself back in bed. Outside, the sun is rising. I trend the primordial universe. Ah, anyways, um, a talented individual. I don't care about lowborns. We already have a talented spy master, which is, you know, you know who he is. We'll play for money. Hail to the Maharaja. I haven't done this crowding stuff since I was young. Back when I was just a cinnamon eating soldier in training of a Rajkumar. I had an interesting young life, son. You could imagine what I was like. The Punishers must have cast a curse on me. In my venture to recover the lost artifact, I was just about the most dreadful news. The cartographer Fu died in an unexplainable accident while searching for the artifact. Fu's with the Tirthan and Karas now. Yes, he'll be missed. I have to select another courtier. Right, who else is qualified? You? Can't be you. What about my son? He's ambitious. I think he has what it takes. It was an unfortunate event, but... No, I'm not trying to kill him. This is just... His ambitious may help. Putting him to task. And meanwhile... Go to Pala. Where'd you get a pet cat? <laughs> ok, 
Okay, that's enough money to get a... Oh, we're not quite there yet. Good riddance, you little monster. Something must have happened in Ujjaini. Ah, Volatile Province. Sometimes a random character gets killed during situations like these. No, no, no. Life's too short for hate. It's about time when I change my ways. I ought to become kind for this. It's a virtue, you know? Oh, no. I overslept and was late to the morning to my advices. Why didn't it wake me on time? Keep it going. I just saw you pick up another trait. What was that? Because it, it just moved. Unless I'm going crazy again. Yeah, I must be going crazy. I'll teach the children my virtues whenever I'm ready to retire. How old are you? Well, he's going to turn 15 next time, so it's going to be 8.43. That's when the world retire from the world. The migrants in the domain has been causing serious damage to the finances of several courtiers of the lands of several provinces. A lack of action will make me look bad, so I need to consider other approaches to the problem. The problem will solve itself. I hope. Now, for goodness sakes, by Mahavira, build a sick house. We still have a domain. Oh, so yes. and Magad. And the Greek has become Bengali. It's no surprise. Does that mean all your Greek courtiers are now? No? They still keep their Greek. Son, you need to get to work on it. There's a bastard roaming around here. That we need to find. Tough. Yo, I really need to go back to Hinduism. Hey, you got any money in you? Again, you were always a Hindu. And why on earth would we want to condemn him? So, just a small penalty. Alright. Can you ransom? No? Keep your Hinduism. Okay. It's been a while since we had a good debate, but I think I should debate it defensively because I'm a patient person. And I will win that debate. Now you owe me a favor. Which the penalty is, give me money. Sucker. <laughs> it's looking at any law changes. It has not been 50 years since it's been raised, which we can afford that. Oh, I just remembered another thing. The prestige. Son, where are you? Son and heir. I am going to make you the court poet.
That's just for monetary reasons. Hunt for the rumored artifacts is going to slow down. The spy master just for me. He has some valuable and promising leads, but to investigate them, the search must venture to distant, inhospitable lands. Claims he needs much more soldiers to attempt such a venture. Can I miss this opportunity? But remember, none of these sons are getting married until I retire. And then they'll come up with a decision for themselves. What happened to Mugget's prosperity? No, no, no. Prosperity is fine. It's just stability. It's what you're looking for. Hello there. You sound like your father. Oh, you lunatic. It's a good thing that I wasn't considering you to be designated Arizona. Volatility in Mugget. What has happened here? What the hell happened to the prosperity here? Increase it. This could spell bad news for those who are living in the vicinity. Try again this October. More money. Sir House is about to be finished. Pass around prosperous. And then, uh... I don't know why, but I'm feeling quite happy and inspired today. It's a good feeling. Well, I'm inspired all right. <laughs> okay. He says he's a warlock, but we'll put him in a dungeon and you are going to have to pay the... Never mind, he has no money. In fact, he's objectively a bad person all around, so he'll remain. Where on earth did he get that? That can't be right. In fact, let me teach my son of virtue right now. Because all you have is one, two. One of his traits went away. He had cynical, right? He lost his cynicism. I think that Chan philosophy of his may have helped him remove that. So, please come so I can help you get rid of your depression. And I'm going to teach you a virtue, which you'll be charitable. You're going to get yourself killed with your depression. Well, that's it. Time to make preparations. Because that time is coming, so... And start giving away all the artifacts. Because it's getting close to March. Yeah, 
Go ahead with the plan. All of my artifacts will be given to the heir to the room. Because your reign will start very, very soon. It's going to be next year. So get ready. Yeah, I'm a bit too busy right now because I'm too busy considering retirement. Calculations, consultations, and designs were done. There's finally a price for the building, the world to be a reality. Not time for to check up its worth of cost. Oh, hell no. A spy master bedroom each uncovered several clues indicating that War Chief Bayou, or Biu, of the Mande Kaluban, African. Sounds African. Possesses important information regarding the rumored artifact. I was unwilling to talk, and Vajramicha wants more spies, transferring from the regular missions to target a war chief instead. Well, the spies are yours. Just give him the important stuff. He could get all these books from, you know, over time. The armor, the weapon, don't need them. Yeah. I switch back to theology, it's another requirement when you become a monk. Here's your weapon. Here's the exquisite ancient pottery. When is your birthday? Okay, it just came up. Another elusive shadow. The ceremonial ropes, I mean, as I said, just give away the important books. You must help me. Oh, God, so I need a poem for my sweetheart. I have no time to write to myself. Can you please help me? For a small sum, I would be happy to provide you with a love poem. Here's a landscape painting. I'm traveling in a less populated and more rugged part of my room. And from my entourage, I come across a number of corpses, and by the stench of decaying flesh, is noticeable to everyone. Judging by the armor and clothing on the bodies, as well as the wounds on them, it seems this may have been a scene of a recent battle between rival bandit gangs that infest the region. Bandits or not, we should give them a funeral to ease their souls. As a real Jan would do. What else I can give you? Ah, yes, the art of war. Have for you. And I'm just saving up my money, you know, for the divorce. And here's the silk slippers. How many books, study books, do you have to be exact? Three. I mean, you are very much qualified to rule. Keep that well in mind. What else? This is a guy. I think that's pretty much all the important ones. All these books, well, they belong to, to me, the little ones. But since you've lacked stewardship, I think, um... I have a few stewardship books I can give you. The ones that are marked in green. Actually, no, I don't. 
Oh, I, I guess I already gave that to you. Well. But since you have a diplomacy education and you got to be the master, so allow me to uh, give you another diplomacy book here. Gave him all the clutter. So that's four. And you have one learning book. Which, you know, you think you're good enough with that. <laughs> Ooh, what else? What else? Learning, learning, intrigue. The rest of them are learning books, but I got two more diplomacy books that may help you along the way. Yeah, my return is going to be a little late. And keep up the good work for your work as chancellor. Now here's another. Large smuggler operation for me. I've done all I can to improve the realm. Also, having a hard diet. As long as it keeps you alive. I guess that's why you didn't come to my feast, because you want to practice moderation. I got no more diplomacy books, but. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. This would definitely help you. So, kitchen's finished. Good. You can protect yourself very well. I think I should have one more book to give you. You can get your own books by, you know, due to your connections for it, as you were graduated from there. So they may give you Chinese books. So I have one last book to give you. It's the little clay cart. Here it is. Okay. Now, don't worry about the steward because I'm about to retire. Arrange a divorce. That'll be... This is why I saved up all that money. That's another step. I can become a Mooney now. And all the other books remain. Anything else before I get on out of here? Now, let me teach you all of you children. Hey! Where are you? He's here in Patliputra, but I can't teach him a virtue because. Aha! Okay. So you're hopeless then. Now, as for you, let me teach you a virtue. So he's become kind. Be nice to your brother. Now as for you, I shall teach you, well, maybe this is a way to get him out of here because a lunatic man with intrigue may, may not do it for him. Actually, no, 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 because he's going to be back here no matter what. Wait. Tirubukti Kashi Mithila Kutsinagara Timuramapura Varanasi Juanpur Juna. So we keep both Sansaram and Mudgagiri for the successor. Ah, okay. If I send him to the academy, he's gonna come back no matter what. Well, let me teach you a virtue. Be nice, boys. And there's going to be an ascetic coming in. Now, I got one last gift in addition to one more book. Well, you'll get the message. So, 
I'll take a few books with me because uh, at 73 I need something to read. But these broken weapons, they won't be needed. That's just for, you know, a me thing. Because I'm a great warrior and all. So I want to keep these with me as a reminder of my past. Back in my Hindu days. The Muni Nar Singh is finally out of my court. He's the most notable and wise man. And I'll happily receive his counsel in a matter of religion and scholarly pursuits. You see, he can be your tutor. He can be the philosophical tutor. If you need anything to learn from, this is the man to talk to. So peace be upon you, Narsing. I'll be taking my leave now. Gotta go on a journey here. Following the path of my father, finally, but I'm a Jain, not a Hindu. Did I mean the designated years region? I don't care. Oh dear. I was supposed to give you money. But um I'm still gonna give you that one last thing, alright? So after wandering a few wandering the streets as a beggar and meditating in the open, I start to question if I'm truly ready to live like this for the rest of this life. <sighs> How long have I reigned? I've reigned for nearly 40 years. Well, those first 40 years was not pleasant for me. But my last years were much more kind. I found peace. <laughs> now one would think I have attained moksha as well. Just like my father. Perhaps may be different, but I've done a lot of great things. And of course, in secret, I'm just going to have my favorite food, you know, cinnamon toast and sticky buns. I mean, if any uh, Jay and Mooney catches me eating those, they're going to say, mm -mm -mm. No, our child, that's not how you're supposed to do it. Wait a minute, matter of fact, am I the only archer? Yes! Okay. So who knows where he's going to go. I mean, he'll be wearing white cloth um, on his way out, so. He will become pure. He's done it all. And we can only hope that Rajendra Narayan, who's still depressed to this day, that he would get over his depression. He must find a path for himself. He must find that there is more to this life. As he will be a good diplomat and a fighter to defend the country against any means. But if he wishes to become following the path of Jainism, that's up to him. If he wants to become Buddhist or Hindu, that's up to him. It depends on the circumstances. I converted to Jainism because my friend told me to about the secrets of it and then converted and all that. So, yeah, I've done it all. So, I'm gonna go. Rajendra Narayan, you're the new Maharaja. So, there goes the champion. He's gone to Raj Rapa. So, he's not far from here. Which means all these books, even a few broken weapons, will go to the Greek. It'll be added to his library. And for some reason he has this thing. Of course, in of course he told me about that story when he brought Brahma Gupta back. I could invite him back if I wanted to, but he was a friend to the Yavanas, so I think it's better just to leave him there. 
He needs to be at peace. He doesn't need to be brought back. So, as we know, Vajra Mitra, who was the original heir, um, has inherited Kashi and the Thikanas of Varanasi, Juanpur, and Chuna. Wow. Maharishi uh, inherits Tirubukti in all these areas. But the problem is he's a zealous Hindu, but he's not all that right. Whereas Vajramitra is a Jain, but wants to be on the council. And he's an ambitious man. So we gotta get to know each other a bit better here. Between us brothers. Too bad my father never gave me some of his wealth. And he's going to keep all that good money to himself. Plus he'll be a fine commander. So they must be called back. To Mugget. Because now I inherited a situation that is volatile. Don't have much of the way of intrigue, nor the stewardship, as I am on a bit of a hard diet, which is going to last for five years. Hmm. There's plenty of things to do for here. Yes, plenty of things to do, but the first thing I should do is get rid of depression. Which the best way to do that is just go carousing, but I doubt that my lifestyle trade will want to be a socializer. My diplomacy is high enough. I'm educated in this sort of thing. And I don't think there's any need to follow that path. We know that my father has accomplished as champion there. And Archa there, so he did both. And I can convert to either Hinduism or Buddhism as I wish. That's just, it's only based on me personally. Because father did it because he chose Jainism because it was just his path. Well, my brother's Hindu, the other is Jain. So. There's one good reason to stay Jayan for a while. Because living in peace means monthly piety. And with that piety you could potentially, oh, I don't know, subjugate somewhere. Either go west or go east. But here we are vulnerable. As we had to inherit this situation that we better have it taken care of. But first we gotta keep the realm stable. That's what, sh that's what I shall do. Set a crown focus here. I don't know about you, brother. Now, what skills do you call? Well, you're probably going to be the unruly one here. Ah, Narsang. The Jain ascetic that just came here. And the old treasury guard. And the steward will be him again. First focus should be carousing. Despite the fact that I never wanted to attend a father's feast, but... Do not forget about the coordination. Guess she'll be forgiven. But you don't have the skills for this sort of thing. Revoke privileges. Who gave you privileges? Oh, never mind. He's gone to insanity. Let him be.
I think your first war should be a subjugation war against Bengal. Because there's a lot of good territory there. Before we move on to there. Because there's no need to go west. Just go this way. And then towards down here. The first thing you should do is get married. Real question is who? Looking. Just looking. Again, I'm not tall. Not fair. I'm just... I am what I am. That's a good maybe here. A strong shot. I think I choose her. So remember... Dangavati tomorrow. 11. Strong. Silver tongue. It's not inheritable necessarily, but still. Yep. It's going to be the 11 year old. Which means you're going to have to wait three years till marriage. There you are. It's her. Just going to turn to one next. Yeah. Take a drop of prestige, but. That's the one I want. Don't we already have a tutor? Yes, we do. There's no need for that. But First, it's time for a corny ceremony. Let's um, end this episode right. I already ruled a Gupta kingdom. We're receiving official Jayan coordination that will legitimize my standing to my vassals. Now it is time to begin finding what's sure to be a lavish ceremony attended by all. I look forward to it. The rector of the Gozajian has sent you a beautifully illuminated manuscript in honor of recent accession to the throne. I told you I would get my own book. A diplomacy book. Nice. Tao Yuanming was a po Chinese poet of six dynasties period. His poems depict a life of farming and drinking homemade wine, urging the audience to drop out of official life and move to the country. A most fitting present. No need to wear s stats, but you can read this as you are not married right now. And all these things. Hmm. Majesty, as you will be holding a proper J in coordination, I would be pleased to offer my services in performing the ceremony. Mayor de Tirk then Karas watch over you. Of course, the Yavana, who is now a Bengali, you will perform the ceremony. Yeah, that Gary may get married thing isn't going to happen anytime soon. Next war is going to be a subjugation war, so let's just sit around prosper. Keep at it. But we may be attacked by a foreign power. Because we're vulnerable right now to either side. The Gupta coordination. I, Rajendra Narayan of the Gupta dynasty, with the blessing of Rishab, I do hereby rightfully assume the crown of the Gupta kingdom. With those words, does it become Maharaja of Gupta Kingdom in truth? 
with each of his vassals lining up to bow before him and swear everlasting fealty is a precious ceremony led by Negranta Raphael of Jacand and full of pompous circumstance. One will write that the one will write that Maharaja of Rajendra Narayan into history. The streets of Magadha are lined with Bengali crowds cheering, with everyone trying to get a look at the foreign personages that pass by on their way to the forthcoming feast. I've never been more proud. And I do become proud. Even though a father were here, he's gonna take, give me spiritual guidance. With the coronation ceremony finished, the newly anointed Maharaj, Rajendra retired to his castle for the celebration of the feast. The hall is packed with people, the lords and ladies of the Gupta Kingdom, their wives and husbands, visiting giant rulers and emissaries will be a night to remember. Two of my brothers will be here, but Vachal. Vachal. He's not going to be here because he's in hiding. Okay. Hiding and drinking. So, my brothers are here, as well as the, the near Grantha. Representing the Yavanas. Wish Father was here to see this. As the coordination feast continues, I find myself frequently in the company of Vajra drinking wine and laughing over the stories. Who, while I never thought so initially, it seems to me gain an excellent understanding of one another. You're more than a brother. You're just a good person. Not yet a friend. As of his drinking weren't bad enough, Negrant Mahendra Pala of Mondanaburi have uh, managed to make sure, managed to make quite a spectacle of himself at the coronation feast, dancing on tables and carrying on to the vomit the floor in front of everyone. Well, he ain't that bright. Oh, wonderful. Let me drink. Who's he? Local poet of a pet cat. At one point of the coronation festivities, Jan Grawl stands and gets everyone's attention. He delivers a poem in Maharaja Ratendra Narayan's honor. And it is beautiful. Those gathered are moved and the applause afterwards signal that this soul will be written down and remembered. Well done. For most Cornish priests, the core Vijay son of Kutsingara. That's my other brother. Oh, you got the short end. Whew. He acted normally, or as normally as one expected him to be. Perhaps then a servant placed the wrong flag before him, and that set him off, ranting and raving, until finally the hall watched inside as he escorted away. He's a lunatic, so... Oh my goodness. He's killing migrants. He is indeed an insane man. Now, the great Raphael. Are we friends, or we're just good bunnies? Well, at the coordination face finally draws the close of Maharaj and Rajendra Narayan giving me a speech to those gathered that is barely heard over the Rosh tree. Long live the Maharaja. <laughs> Maharaj ki jeho. Let's hope so. Now the court faction is friendly. Now I gotta start pleasing everybody here. Even though I still feel depressed, but I hope that depression will soon go away. I have the means to persuade, and I have the means to fight. I d cannot have weapon training, because the combat rating is less than 30. Hey, got an idea? Let's see, let's see. Get this off. 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 Skip one day. Aha! That'll cost you 50 gold, so just wait a bit. 
Wait till December. It's serene here, but it's still volatile, so be careful. Despite the recent drought here. Yeah, we don't have the income like we used to. Okay, start in January. Last act. But I don't know about this because I'm depressed, which I could get rid of it easily when I take part in the feasts. Also, take a good look at that crown of Javita Gupta, great grandfather. Compare that to Ramagupta. And then here's that crown, looks differently. Even though I only have a small mustache and bald head so this crown would cover that bald head in line but knowing that in the future that I will be fighting in massive wars against great enemies that I need to take weapon training this is Darendra Narayan. Darendra Narayan. That's a mouthful. He's decided to invest a significant portion of my time to hone my combat skills. My father took a moderate training, but I'm going to take intensive training. I will harshly delve into the intricacies of combat. I will follow a grueling schedule in my combat training. I could expect faster results on average. We're also bigger chance to survive for injuries too. Well. I became depressed because father pushed me too hard. And kinda wanna push that to the limit of myself. Also put these on. Not slippers. You'll be fine. So, we hope you enjoyed this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to cut this short here. So, the reign of Rajendra Narayan, who got lucky in becoming shrewd, thanks to Raj Ganesha. He was originally dull, but he's still a bit dim, but thanks to further education, he's going to do all right here. Although, his stewardship would be a bit of a weak spot here. Especially when it comes to provincial stability. But he needs to get rid of his depression soon. Otherwise, who knows? Who knows what it's going to be like? We hope you see you in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.